Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back, I'm Mariam. Today we have a new foundation to test out. It is from KVD Beauty and it is called the Good Apple Serum Foundation. Now this has just launched. It is super hot, fresh and new. My hands are on it and I am going to review it for you guys. Of course, I'm gonna be doing a wear test at the end on my oily AF skin, and I'm gonna see if all the claims that this claims to have are actually true. Let's do it. Subscribe, notification bell, and now onto the review. KBD, Good Apple, Serum Foundation, Full Coverage Foundation at that. Let's do this. Bangs are out of the picture today because we are reviewing a foundation and it is the KVD Beauty Good Apple Serum Foundation. So now I do have this PR package over here that was sent to me and in it we have the new foundation. It is $42 at Sephora. I have the shade Tan. 57, which is a medium tan with neutral undertones. I went on Sephora and I was looking at all the different shades. I probably will need a medium 51 with a warm undertone, but if I like it, I'll get it. Right now, my job is to actually test it and wear test it. Also in this PR package, we have this little cuff or this little applicator that it comes with. And I'm generally not someone who likes to apply my foundation with this type of sponge or puff, but I'll try it. Also, we have the KVD Beauty Lock It Pore Refining Primer. This is a $34 product. It is not new, it's been out for a while, but it will be my first time trying it. I actually don't always receive KVD Beauty products in the mail. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I tend to forget about them, to be honest with you, but now that I have it, I'm gonna review it. So here are some of the details about this foundation. It is vegan, natural finish, full coverage. This was the one thing that really excited me about this product. I am kind of eager to try a full coverage glamorous foundation. I feel like a lot of them lately have just not been too natural looking. They've just not become one with the skin, if you know what I mean. But this is actually meant for oily combo and normal skin. They do not mention anything about dry skin, so I'm assuming they don't recommend it for dry skin. This is supposed to be long wearing and transfer proof. Um, we will put that to the test. I actually don't believe that any foundation is transfer proof. At least I have not yet found one. And the reviews on Sephora are mostly good, though there are definitely some bad reviews. This is a new product, so it should just be getting to Sephora right now. I am going to designate one side of the face for the primer and the little applicator, and then I'm gonna designate the other side of the face to like my beloved Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder as a primer, and then my brush, and then we'll take it from there. So let me go ahead and get started. Easy peasy. As expected, this feels kind of mushy on the skin, kind of cool, kind of like a water-based moisturizer. I will say this is also a similar texture to the Huda Beauty Glowish Blur Jam Primer. Very similar consistency. I'm just gonna slap this one across my entire forehead because I don't really like having a border between primers and things like that. And this one looks like it definitely casts a border. This dries fairly quickly, but it leaves the skin kind of moist, kind of plumped. All right, on the other side of the face, let's go for my fave. I think I need another one soon. All right, let's go. So I'm pretty sure this is not my shade, but we are going to do everything to make it work. So I'm gonna first apply this to the forehead. I'm gonna use the sponge to stretch it across my forehead. Interesting. That was a pretty sheer layer in a small amount, but it clearly did not cover my acne spots here. I'm gonna go for a heftier pump on this side of the face. I don't know you guys, does this seem full coverage to you? I mean, the consistency is creamy. It has a pretty matte finish. I wouldn't call this a natural finish like they claim. This looks pretty matte to me, though I'm not sure if this is actually offering me full coverage. Though, I will say that in my monitor, the shade match is pretty good for my neck. So maybe they were right after all. All right, I'm gonna apply this to the other side of the face, a generous amount, and then I'm gonna use my brush. It Cosmetics Complexion Perfection as always and per usual. I'm gonna see what happens if I blend this out with the brush. See, the brush does not suck up as much of the product, so I feel like this is actually giving me more of a full coverage finish if I apply it with a brush. So I am thinking, wow, that actually looks pretty damn decent. I'm thinking the sponge is probably good to shear out the product. I'm gonna shear it out in most areas, except for my problem areas. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a close up. So this is one layer, KVD primer on this side, Danessa Myricks on this side. So this is what we're working with. You can definitely still see pores and imperfections, none of which have been covered up or smoothed out. Forehead, and then here's this side of the face, which clearly looks like a lot more product and just more saturated. 
Though in this instance, I can definitely see that this is not my shade, though I'll still make it work. But the texture and the quality of the product looks better. I'm gonna continue thinning out the product on this side just to make it match a little bit better. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more on this side and I'm just gonna perfect it with my brush. I'm not very handy with these types of applicators anyway, so I might as well just apply it the way that I typically do. Not sure why they're calling it a serum foundation. It is definitely not serum-like, so don't get it twisted. Don't think there's any sort of of makeup to skincare promises or any sort of claims about it making your skin better over time. I I'm not sure why the serum naming, because there's actually no serum or skincare marketing with this product. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna show you. So my trouble zones for me are as always my pores. Here's an extreme close up, And as you can see, this is not really minimizing them and if you've been watching my YouTube videos and my channel for a while, you have definitely seen my pores look better. So then on this side of the face, it's like a completely different face. The pores are so much more smooth and I credit that to the Vanessa Myricks product. I mean, you could still see imperfections, but just the texture of the skin looks much better. So this is the face. Mm, not sure if it matches exactly, but it's not terrible. Um, generally full coverage foundations always seem like they're a shade or two off because they are so full coverage. They literally change the color of your face. There's no skin seeping through. So it's to be expected. I'm gonna make it work with the rest of my products. So let me go ahead and get started. First, I'm gonna grab this uh, NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I'm just gonna spot treat some of my imperfections here. This guy, this guy, and this guy. I'm gonna let that chill. I'm gonna do my under eye concealer with Tarte Shape Tape. Cat hair! I'm gonna brighten in between the brows. I feel like I could use it. And also right here, just the tip of the chin, just to bring it all together. All right, that's good. I'm gonna see if I can use this little sponge to blend out the forehead, not bad, and the chin. I'm gonna take a little bit of what's left on the sponge and just brighten the corners of the nose. And then with my Rare Beauty fingertip brush, I'm gonna blur out the imperfections and finally the under eye. All right, under eye is nice and bright. I'm gonna set that with my Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Cake Powder. This is the pinky one. I'm gonna use the little finger sponge. All right, and then to set the rest of the face, I'm gonna reach for the Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening Face Powder in the shade Light, this one, just so I can brighten up this complexion so it can look a little bit more like me. I'm gonna brighten up the center of the forehead, under the eyes, right here. And then of course I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil for the pores. Cause with this much product on my pores, I definitely need something that legitimately works, which is this guy. There we go. And there we go. Next I'm gonna bronze up. I'm gonna go for the Jones Road Bronzer, shade tan. I'm gonna add some to just the sides of my forehead and then a smidge underneath and across my cheekbone. Notice how I'm patting and not swiping. That's because I always feel like full coverage foundations are so much more finicky. It's so much easier to move them than something that's light coverage, that if you make a mistake, it's really easy to fix it. But with full coverage, you scratch your face with a nail, <laughs> there goes that. So I'm trying to not shift any of the foundation underneath, even though this is supposed to be transfer proof, but you know, they all say that. Okay, face is looking freaking matte. It is looking a little bit waxy. It's looking like a lot of makeup, not gonna lie. I'm gonna show you a quick close up before I apply blush. Here's the side of the face. Even though I have more imperfections on this side of the face, this is still my favorite side of the face. I guess I'm not loving that primer, although with the Bare Minerals product, it definitely looks a lot better. Just gonna take my NYX Jumbo White Pencil. Hopefully it'll eliminate this little spot. I don't know what happened here. It actually looks worse than before. Maybe it was like the combination of products. I'm just gonna warm some up on the back of my hand and then take a little brush, tiny little brush, a little better. All right, for the blush, I'm gonna go for the Too Faced Cloud Crush Blurring Blush. These names, I swear. I'm gonna use the Sculpt Brush, number nine. Pinky Blush in the shade Golden Hour. I'm gonna make this funny little face. <laughs> I'm gonna apply that on. Okay, cute. So now let's observe. Let me actually talk about how I feel at first impression. I 100% prefer to apply this product 
with a brush and not with the applicator. And also, I far prefer to pair it with my Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder in the Universal Shade when I use it as a primer on this side of the face. Even though I use a lot of helpers, this side of the face still looks better. So I'm not gonna say that I don't dislike this primer. I just think that this is better for the purpose of blurring the pores and controlling the shine. This has been my go-to and nothing has beat it thus far. This, I have no other words. My second thought is that this is feeling like a little bit too much makeup for my liking. The shade is not exact, so it's not how I'm used to seeing myself. It's a little bit too, I don't know, a little bit too saturated for my skin tone. I mean, you can kind of see it matching my neck, but my neck is like a dirtier, like more I don't know, olive color, as opposed to what this foundation is making my face look like. Yeah, from far away, it definitely looks very flawless, but it also looks a little bit masky. I actually feel it on the face, and it's kind of making it not hard, but I'm not as excited to smile, because I feel like I might crack the foundation, if you know what I mean. Definitely, there's a heaviness on my face, and I feel it. But that's not to say that this is not a bad product. That's not to say that it won't wear well. Let's cue in that good old time warping music for that wear test, and let's see how it wears. Let's plug it in. Okay, hi guys, we are back. It has been five hours, but five hours is all I need to be able to tell how I feel about this KVD Good Apple serum foundation. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here is this side of the face, pori AF. And here is this side of the face, a little bit smoother, but still very, very pori. The forehead is very greasy. And overall, I still look like I am wearing a mask of makeup. So bottom line is this foundation is not for me. Let me do one more thing, a transfer proof test, even though this is a full coverage foundation and I can pretty much tell, but let me just take a little paper towel here. My forehead, sweetie, transfer proof wear. I mean, granted I, whoa, <laughs> do you actually see the imprint of my paper towel on my forehead? That is definitely something unique and different. I'm gonna need to blend that out a bit. But anyway, if you are someone who doesn't mind blotting throughout the day, and if you don't have as much texture as some people, if you don't suffer from pores, bumps, and acne scars, and you are looking for super full coverage, but you are not oily, maybe you will like it. However, if you are oily like myself, as you can tell, this will probably be too much for you. Yeah, that's just my review. That's my take on it. That is my wear test. The wear test don't lie, although I will say it does look a lot better after I blotted. But even still, too much product for me definitely transfers and not really that smoothing. So with that, I'm gonna say farewell. Peace out, I'm out. Check out more videos over here. Love you guys.